Hello everyone, Brad here again. Uh, today is kind of a big day. I'm going to do a job sawing some walnut logs uh, with my Lucas saw mill. I had a little practice a couple weeks ago. I had just one log that I cut down in my yard and had a couple of great guys come down and show me a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, uh, this will be my first real uh, mission by myself. Well, my son will be helping me and my wife. But uh, anyway, uh, probably learn a lot today. Probably make some mistakes. But uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Right, guys just got back from sawing all day um, as you can see here the truck is uh, out here uh, packed to the brim uh, had to film here in the garage so it's so windy outside right now there's a lot of wind noise uh, but I definitely learned a lot today um, got a lot of practice in the lumber I got off those logs was not great uh, had a lot of ants that had been eaten in there so anyway I got a few good boards but I really wanted to do it for learning you know I had the logs for free so it worked out great but uh, I'll do a little walk around in my truck so you can see how, how I packed everything in there. My goal was to be able to pack everything in my truck without having to have a trailer or anything. And so I was able to do it. It's pretty tightly packed, but it, it's not too bad. But anyway, I'll walk you around, to let you take a look at everything. As you can see, you got a, a meal, gas, toolboxes, all the posts, chainsaw. And uh, I got this ladder rack, it's actually from Home Depot, and it's worked really fine. And I had this, I welded this up, I got a guy, a friend of mine that did this for me. Um, this rack here in the front, just, I wanted some extra support just to be sure that uh, I didn't have any bounce with those uh, long beams on the top. But it worked out really great.
been a couple of days since I did all my sawing. I've uh, got rested up, got all the lumber stacked up to dry. Uh, it's just gonna give you a little background on this walnut tree. Uh, this was in a buddy of mine's cow pasture, a couple of miles from my house. Uh, largest walnut tree I've ever came across. The thing was 40 plus inches in diameter at breast height. And uh, about three years ago, it had been hit by lightning and my buddy had asked me if I wanted it because it kind of started to die a little bit. And you know, it was just so big and it was on the side of a hill and near a fence. And I was like, you know, it's just too dangerous for me to try to cut down. So then this uh, last spring, it had been hit by lightning again and a huge limb had fallen out over the fence. And so the guys that rent the pasture from him had to get it cut down professionally. Uh, so I ended up getting a chance to uh, get it anyway. Uh, so the butt log I'd gotten cut up by someone else before I got my meal and it was just huge. Uh, luckily when it hit the ground, it split in two cause I couldn't have moved it anyway if it was stayed in a whole piece. Uh, but anyway, uh, what I cut was the rest of the trunk which was three more logs. So uh, that's what I got some bonus footage of. I got some footage of me uh, getting in and out of the hole. I had to winch it out and uh, drag a lot of it up to the top of the hill where I could get a flat area to work with. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.